Sometimes DIY projects fight you every step of the way, and sometimes everything just falls into place and it turns out better than you'd hope. This is one of those times. Introducing our DIY Samsung Family Hub refrigerator. When you open it, a light sensor triggers a USB cam, which then is connected to a Raspberry Pi that uploads that picture to the internet so we can see whatever's in our fridge wherever we are. Maybe you've seen the commercials for Samsung's new Family Hub refrigerator. What you might not have seen is the price tag, $6,000. What's most impressive is that this was actually my very first Raspberry Pi project and really my first successful programming attempt at all. That says a lot more about the Raspberry Pi community more than my innate programming ability. All I had to really do was copy and paste different programs and tweak them to make them work together for my project. To start, you'll need a Raspberry Pi, a Wi-Fi adapter, a webcam, and a light sensor. My first attempt with this project used the Pi Cam, a camera made specifically for the Raspberry Pi. Unfortunately, the focal length wasn't wide enough to see anything in the refrigerator. I found this ultra wide angle webcam for 30 bucks. That combined with the Raspberry Pi and the Wi-Fi adapter make this about a $77 project. With the hardware sorted out, I got started with the programming. After some browsing, I realized I'm basically trying to make a motion sensor security camera. Luckily, there are lots of tutorials online about how to build one of those. Not so luckily, all of them seemed to use a program called Motion that required my USB camera be plugged into a powered USB hub. And that got too complicated to fit in my refrigerator. So I started building my own little program. To take a picture, we're going to use a pre-written program called FS Webcam. And once it's installed on your Raspberry Pi, all you do is type FS Webcam, then a file name, and it takes a picture and saves it. Here's the first picture I ever took. I spent two hours following every tutorial I could find about how to make buttons work on the Raspberry Pi, and I just about gave up. Then I realized I was looking at the pin diagram upside down. I thought this was going to be more difficult, honestly, but I literally just swapped the button for the light sensor and it just worked. Whenever it sees light, it triggers the webcam. Up until now, I had been using a keyboard and monitor to mess around with this thing. So I bought a $8 USB Wi-Fi dongle, which allowed me to operate the Raspberry Pi from my laptop and more importantly, upload whatever picture I take from inside the fridge. Once the system seemed to be working well on our home network, I wanted to see this thing upload the picture on the internet. For this, I had to go to the Raspberry Pi forums and made a post. After a bunch of troubleshooting, I finally got it to upload a picture to our website. Then I bought a simple domain, which I could not believe was actually available, inourfridge.com. Inourfridge.com just forwards you to where I host the image, so it's just easier for us to remember. This started out as just a complete novelty and experiment, basically just to make fun of spending $6,000 on a refrigerator. But I was so far in at this point, I decided let's actually install this thing semi-permanently and see how we like it. To do that, I needed to find a source of five volts DC power inside the refrigerator. I got half lucky here. There was a low voltage power supply for the circuit board inside the fridge. Unfortunately, it put out 13.5 volts. To start, I tried a linear voltage regulator to drop down that voltage, but the 7805 regulator I had got scorchingly hot instantly. A heat sink, I learned, was needed. So I tried some copper fittings first, then some aluminum angle, and it was still just way too hot. Eventually, I figured out that I was basically creating a 7 watt space heater inside our refrigerator and wondering why it was getting hot. Then that night, lying in bed, it hit me. I could use something that almost everyone has lying around to do exactly what I need a cigarette lighter to USB adapter. It turns out car adapters like this use what's called a switching regulator or something to drop the voltage rather than creating a bunch of heat. Once everything was all sorted out, I was basically done. I found I could stuff the wires for the webcam behind the magnetic strip in the door so that tidied things up nicely there. I tried double-sided tape on a couple spots and that didn't work so I did have to make one tiny screw hole to make this thing permanent. Then I added a two second delay before the program would start so you didn't accidentally take a picture of opening the door and I added a 30 second sleep timer so that you didn't accidentally take a picture closing the door. All right, let's take this thing for a little test drive, huh? So let's go to inourfridge.com. We got that, it's kind of left justified. Let's open up the fridge. Go a little wider with it so we can see a difference. And put back. Give it a second to process and upload. And there we go. Let's do one more. This time I took the T out of that top right corner so we can see this. So open up, it takes a picture, close it. 
give it a second to process and upload. Right now it's scaling the image down, rotating it, and refresh. There we go, no tea. There you have it, folks. Like I said, for our first project, I'm thrilled with how it came out, uh, but it is not without its limitations slash problems. For example, when you open it, the picture is just the top four shelves, kind of the main compartment of the refrigerator, not the drawers or the door or the freezer. But for what it's worth, the Samsung one, as far as I can tell, is only those top three or four shelves anyway, so maybe that's not a problem. Uh, second, when you open the door, the camera angle is kind of difficult to get because if you open the door all the way, you basically have it on this side and a little bit of yourself. If it's open like just a little bit, kind of the frame is on the left, it's okay. Uh, you basically get everything in the fridge no matter what, but it's kind of off center, so I can live with that. And that's it. So you're welcome to go check out inourfridge.com if you want to see what's in our fridge or basically just see it in action. And I'm actually kind of curious, is there any commercial viability here? For example, would you pay $10 if we mailed you an SD card that had all of this programming already done on it and you just plug it into your Raspberry Pi and it just works? Maybe you even get space on inourfridge.com, like inourfridge.com slash Mike and Lauren. Just thinking out loud. Uh, of course, I'll also put a link to the program itself for free in the description if you want to do everything yourself. You're welcome to that as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.